In this video, we're going to talk about writing a usability test task. The usability test task and, and how you phrase it is so important to determining whether the quality of the results that you get. If you phrase the usability testing task improperly, the results you get will uh, almost be invalidated, completely worthless. And so I, it's really, really important that you understand how to, how to properly phrase this. And so we're going to go through some examples. We're going to use our, our to-do app, which is our, our fictional app that we created for demo purposes. And in this case, we have there's, there's three features to the uh, app, and then we've just added a, the notepad feature, which is the fourth feature that we're going to test. So there's the current projects, the archive projects, the timeline, and the notepad. And what we want to test is uh, the, how usable the notepad, which is the new feature that it, we're, we're building. We haven't built yet. It's in the prototype form. But that's we've designed it. We've built a high fidelity prototype, and we want to actually test this, this, the usability of this feature. But the, the key to writing a good usability task, uh, task is to not be overly prescriptive. You have to think about it from the user's perspective, not from your perspective. And so going back to why we built this notepad feature, the reason why we built the notepad feature is because people were in the, in the current projects and or the archive projects and or the timeline, and they kept saying, we want to add our comments to the current projects. And so our product team got together with their design team and said, hey, why don't we build a notepad feature where you can add notes and comments? And that's great. Let's test it. So we, we designed it and we're ready to test it. Now, if we ask people to add a note to the notepad, we basically told them what to do. We're being overly prescriptive. So there's a label here that says notepad and there's a button that says add note. Not that hard to do. This is a note. I'm done. I just did that. Right. So um, what did we really test? We didn't really test a whole lot because when our customers come every day and they log into our product, they don't think, how do I add notes to notepad to the notepad? They think I'm in the current projects and I want to share my comments. And so the usability task that you want to do is the way you want to phrase your usability task is from the user's point of view, from the, we, I call it the job to be done, almost like a, a user story if you're into Agile, uh, a user story, the job to be done, which is adding my comments to the current project. It's not adding notes to the notepad. The notes on the notepad is our solution to the, uh, the job that, that customers want done. So you have to phrase it properly. Otherwise, you're, you're, you're being overly prescriptive. You're telling them what to do, and it will invalidate the, uh, the results that you get. 